Good morning, everyone. I'm in beautiful Mallorca at the BJJ and Yoga Festival. And uh, this morning, I'm about to do my own yoga practice. And if you want to join me, grab a mat. This will be a quick and energizing flow with a focus on heart openers and gentle backbends. Come on to all fours and find your tabletop position, soften your gaze. Breathe in, open your chest, cow pose. Exhale, chin to chest. Keep it flowing with your breath. Drop the belly, exhale. Draw the belly in towards the spine and just keep going. One last time, round your spine and find a neutral position. Now left palms pressing down, right arm up, the gaze can follow. Now bend your left elbow and swing that top arm underneath that left arm. Rest on your cheek, find stillness, connect to your breath. And slowly come back up. This time the left arm rises up and goes underneath that right elbow. Keep your gaze soft or close your eyes and let your breaths be long and slow here and release into the pose come back onto all fours and keep your knees right underneath your hip points as you walk those hands forward take it easy here this is a fairly deep back bend maybe the chest and chin can touch the ground maybe not you will find your intelligent edge. Just make sure to get out of this pose. Gently walk your hands back to neutral. And now on an inhale, raise your right arm up. Left leg follows. Engage your core here. This will help you keep your balance. Now reach your arm back, grab your foot and lift that leg and press the foot into the hand at the same time to get your chest open. Lift your gaze and release. Switch sides. Left arm, right leg. Draw the navel in toward the spine. And now grab a hold of your foot. And again, lift that leg up. Reach your chest forward. Open the sternum. And release. Lift your hips and come into downward facing dog pose. You can walk your feet in place here, bending one knee at a time. And to find the right distance for your dog, shift your hips forward and adjust your hands so the wrists are right underneath the shoulders. Come back into your downward dog and bring your big toes to touch. From here, lifting through the inner thigh, the right leg goes up. Bend your knee and flip your dog. We're coming into wild thing. Reach your arm back, open your heart and lift that right hip. And I'll come back to your three legged dog. Lift your right leg, shift forward and sweep your knee across your body. Extend your leg, reaching your right foot out as far to the left as you can. Lift your left arm up. And now come back out of the pose and step your right foot forward in between your hands and left knee down. Pull your front heel energetically toward the back knee. Reach your arms up high and spread your fingers wide. Now lift your gaze and open your heart. Take one more breath here and then release your hands back down. Step it back, downward facing dog pose. Take a moment here to reconnect to your breath. And then raise your left leg, bend your knee and drop your foot behind you. Lift your left hip, open your chest and extend that left arm. Back to your three-legged dog, raise your left leg up. Shift forward and sweep your knee across your body. Extend your leg, reaching your left foot out as far to the right as you can. Open your chest, extend that arm, and now drop your left foot between your hands and your right knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep your arms up, draw the tailbone down toward the floor and lift your pubic bone toward your navel. 
Lift your chest from the firmness of your shoulder blades against the back torso. And then slowly bring your hands back down. Step it back, downward facing dog pose. Bend your knees and look forward and either step or jump forward in between your hands. Inhale, lift up, exhale, Uttanasana. On your next inhale, reach your arms up high to the sky. Bring your hands together to pray at the heart. Inhale, arms up. And then bring your hands together to a pistol shape and lean over to the right on the exhale. Nice side stretch. Come back to center and for one breath over to the left side. Inhale, cactus shape with your arms, lean back, find that arch, lift the sternum and swan dive over your legs. Uttanasana, exhale, fold forward, inhale, come up halfway and on the exhale, jump or step back into Chaturanga. Take an inhale, open your collarbones, up dog. Roll over your toes and come back into your downward facing dog pose. Lifting through the inner thighs, firming the outer thighs in, raise your right leg up and step your foot through in between your hands. Drop your left knee. Inhale, lift your arms up, draw your tailbone down toward the floor. Now sweep your arms back down behind you and interlace your hands. Tilt your head back slowly and look up. You can either stay here or slowly bring your fingertips to the floor, finding that lift in your chest and in your spine. Now very gently and slowly shift forward and from here shift those hips back. We're coming into a half split. You can flex that front foot and draw that right hip back as the left hip goes forward. Come back into your lunge and from here step it back downward facing dog pose left leg lifts now step it through all the way in between your hands drop your right knee come into your lunge inhale raise your arms up and then sweep them back down interlace your fingers behind you arch your back open your chest look up you can bring those fingertips to the floor if you have blocks you can also place your hands on those blocks or you just keep them interlaced behind your back now transition slowly very carefully into your half split step your right foot forward inhale come up halfway lengthen your spine uttanasana exhale raise your arms up and samastitihi inhale raise your arms up again bring your fingertips together pistol shape lean over to the right exhale and come back up to center lean to the left for one breath side stretch back to center cactus shape with your arms lean back open your chest and from here swan dive over your legs exhale inhale come up halfway Exhale, either step or jump back into Chaturanga and lay down all the way on the floor. Open your arms wide. Bend your right knee and lift your left leg off the floor. Drop your foot behind you, keeping those palms pressing down. Come back to neutral and then switch legs. Dropping the left foot behind you and from here come back to center now both legs on the floor reach your arms forward left palm right foot pressing down as right arm and left leg are lifting up repeat on the other side a release now inhale and lift off four limbs at the same time reaching creating space and release Bring your hands back to your chest, palms pressing, elbows hugging in. And we are transitioning here into Cobra Pose. So lift up the sternum, look up, inhale, exhale, lower back down. We do this again, inhale, come up, 
Now this time we want to get a feel for our spine here. Can we go a little deeper into that back bend? Maybe walk your fingertips forward, straighten your arms. Very gentle here, find your intelligent edge, look up. And then release back down to the floor. Bend your right knee and grab a hold of your foot. Keep that left elbow pressing into the mat. Keep that palm connected. If you're familiar with that yogi grip and if you want to go a little deeper into that quad stretch, you can pull that leg or that foot closer to your, your thigh. Switch sides and grab a hold of that left foot, keeping that sternum lifted, pulling that left foot a little closer to your butt or your thigh, whatever you did on the other side make it even now we're lifting everything up we're grabbing both ankles and lifting up into danyurasana try to keep your knees close together maybe you can rock back and forth bring your gaze up and then slowly release back down to the floor now give yourself a little moment here to check in with yourself and reconnect to your breath. Bring your palms flat to the floor, lift your hips. Big toes touching, knees wide, child's pose. Now sit back up and bring your legs forward, roll onto your back. Your feet are flat and close to the buttocks. We're going into bridge pose next. Pressing your inner feet and arms actively into the floor. Push your tailbone upward and lift your buttocks off the floor. Interlace your hands below your pelvis and extend through the arms to help you stay on the tops of your shoulders. Press the top of the sternum toward the chin and then release on the exhale. For wheel pose, bend your elbows, spread your palms on the floor beside your head. Then lift your buttocks off the floor and come to the crown of the head first, inhale. And on the exhale, lift your head off the floor and straighten your arms. Lift up through the inner thighs as you firm the outer thighs. Spread the shoulder blades across the back and slowly come back down onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock from side to side, massaging your low back. Grab a hold of the outer edges of your feet. Happy baby pose. And then release your feet back down on the floor. Lift your hips back up and drop them a couple inches to your right. Then drop your knees to the left. We're coming into a nice gentle twist here. Releasing that right shoulder down, bringing the gaze over to the right shoulder, or you can close your eyes and just surrender. Take a couple of breaths here. And then lift your legs back up and your hips, drop them a couple inches to your left and drop your knees to the right. Then open that left arm to the side Bring your head over to the left side as you release that shoulder. Take a couple nice deep breaths here. And then bring your legs back up, extend them. You have arrived, Shavasana.